All right, we are coming at you from Fort Collins, Colorado. This is Esmeralda. She's 33 foot long Thomas um, school bus conversion um, built in 2000 and conversion finished in December of 2018. So you can see this is the door opens up this way. We're just going to come right in. This is a nice little storage box right here built in um, right when you walk in. <clears throat> so you have a very nice view. I've been parked here for the last four years um, and I have zero complaints. It's a beautiful place. Um, this is my driver area slash utility room slash overflow storage space. Um, you can see I've got on my panel labeled there. Um, the bus is in amazing driving condition. Um, and yeah, let's just go through here. So right as you come in, there again, there's the door. You've got this nice little spot here with a little um, shelf that pops up. Um, this is just some stuff that I still need to get out of here, but, um, right here you've got a wood burning stove. This is a five kilowatt dwarf. Um, it takes, um, you know, 12 to 16 inch pieces of wood, which is really great. Um, and it is nice and toasty in here in the winter. So, um, we've got this nice built in cabinet, um, and a little, fun countertop there in the bathroom. Got a composting toilet, um, some shelving right there. You can put in some, um, you know, these are things that are staying with the bus or otherwise I wouldn't show them to you. Um, but yeah, you got your nature's head composting toilet um, separate from the shower area. Um, this is the front sort of parlor slash community slash could be a guest room area. So yes, I've had people sleep. This is about a twin size little nook right here. Um, got a collapsible fold down shelf like you see here. Um, these are actually repurposed from an old shelf that I once had. Um, got a chair that folds out there. Um, yeah, and just give you another sort of panoramic from the front. And then coming into the middle of the bus is where you have the kitchen. No, this trunk will not be here. Um, that's something that's coming with me. I'm in the process of re-staining um, and re-sealing um, you know, the kitchen countertop. So that explains that mess right there. Um, you've got this nice little um, storage space here where you've got two drawers and then a little, I took the bottom drawer out to kind of make like a little um, nook down there. Some butcher block top here. This is a nice big fridge with a freezer on top. <clears throat> um, this thing is a nice little piece. It fits right up there. Um, great place to store food. Then we've got our shower in here. This is, um, and also, you know, place where I store stuff. Um, if you live in a bus, you know that every little inch of space is used for something other than what it is. Um, so yeah, so this is nice because this, metal can actually be painted. Um, I kind of like the bomb shelter look, so that's why it is still gray in there, but great um, water heater and um, like your panel is all down here. So you've got all of your um, info right here. And then this is a nice little closet area where you can hang clothes and then repurpose some old um, dresser drawers here to create nice little dresser area. Um, place for storage here. There's also some storage back behind and then you can also access down from here. So um, great there. And then obviously this is the back of the bus, the sleeping quarters, and you can see the bed has been lifted. This is a pusher bus with the engines in the back. So it does have a little bench that I kind of built off of to maximize the space in here. You can, you've got like end tables, you've got all of this space under here. Um, the idea was to eventually put some like doors, cabinet doors or something over that to kind of close that off, but that can be someone else's project. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of raised here underneath the floor. You've got um, your battery bank, your um, solar controller, 
uh, your inverters down here. Um, the water tank, 100 gallon water tank is underneath the bed here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then your water lines are actually internal um, for the shower, which is really nice because in the winter when your external pipes that are running through the bus here um, freeze because it is so cold outside, there's really no helping that. Um, the shower pipes actually do not there because they're completely insulated inside the bus. So it's really nice to have that feature separate. If I had had the shower up front with the rest of the bus, I, or with the rest of the bathroom, I feel as though, um, would have had an issue with not being able to shower sometimes this in the winter. Um, so yeah, it's, this is Colorado. This bus is burly. It is built for cold winters. Um, I've, been in the bus down to negative, you know, teens, um, and still been comfortable, um, especially given the wood burning stove, um, and having the mini split in the back. I don't know if you saw that way back there, but the mini split um, is really great for creating alternate electric heat. Um, yeah. And this is Esmeralda, the Cajun caravan. She was inspired by my um, growing up in Louisiana, um, which explains the vibrant color patterns. And I'm also an art teacher, so that might shed a little bit of light into why I chose the colors I did. So this is something like all the furniture that you see is something, stuff that I want to keep with the bus. So this is a seating area and there's storage. Um, this is a piece um, that has lots of storage and there is storage back behind. So if you lift up um, the couch cushion, you'll see there's a piece of wood there. This lifts up and then you've got about enough space to fit luggage back there. So I usually, that's where my luggage was, my snowboard, um, all kinds of things back there. So yeah, plenty of space to put things out of sight, out of mind. And this bus can be yours if you so desire.